Bart was John. And. Zrish. Zrish. Okay. They call me Zrish. They call me Zrish. They call me Zrish. Oh, fuck. Okay, there you go. Oh, okay, that's fine. I can accept this. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, fuck. Okay, back. Okay. <laughs> we got two people. Wait, no, no. We'll let... Yeah, we'll let... We'll, okay. let, uh... we'll just let Jonathan do his own thing. So, which uh, character do you want? Uh... You know what? I'm feeling blue. You're feeling blue lady? I'm feeling blue lady. Okay. So, I'll be Mr. Prince Guy. Greg is Green Man. Green Man? Wait, we said that green. last recording, I just realized. So, Greg, say you want Green Man. I want Green Man. Oh, okay. There we go. Thanks, Greg. I didn't know that. Okay. <laughs> Actually, I want to be Red Man. Too late. So, how does game? Don't worry. You'll see. The Yogg will be here in six weeks, and no one expects it. Not a one of us. We just keep on living our lives, week by week, unaware. So Start it's you first. first. Where do you, Where do you want to go? go? The forest, um, the arena, the alchemy tower, the gardens, the palace, the tavern, the hospital, or the slums? I'm feeling, I'm feeling the alchemy tower. You feeling the alchemy tower? I'm feeling the alchemy tower. Also, those alchemy are your stats. Boys. There's like a way to show... There we go. Those are all our stats. So you want to go to Alchemy Tower? Sure! So the clean... Are you going to clean the lab or brew some potions? I'm going to go ahead and clean the lab. You spend the week cleaning obnoxious chemicals. Oh, wait, 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 wait. John should read it. Cause that's the way it is. Oh. Are you, clean, you spend the week cleaning obnoxious chemicals. You're paid one wealth for your labor and gain one physique and one magic. One day and... Uh, one day and... Artifi what? Artificer. Interesting. One day an artificer stops by for a visit. She is adorned with magical gadgets and gizmos and is followed everywhere by her clockwork spider. The alchemists of the tower all go out of their way to impress the artificer, of offering her an array of potions and elixirs. And she's leaving. She adores as. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and she's leaving. Bye. <laughs> As she's leaving, she adorns the most charming of the alchemists with a special trinket. The fact that she didn't choose you was a very humbling experience. You gain one charm. The charmed. Congrats. Yay. Greg, it's your turn. All right, I'm going to the uh, hospital. To the hospital. I'm going to attend the patient. Spend the week diagnosing and tending to the sick. You gain two mind and earn one wealth. One day, a patient whose voice has been cursed and replaced with piano notes will not stop talking. All the other patients are complaining that his voice is making the hospital even more depressing. The doctors have tried convincing him to stop talking, but to no avail. Uh, let's sing with them. Let's sing with the dude. Quit trying to sing along with his voice. Try to sing along with him, but just can't hit the right notes. Sound gets progressively <laughs> sadder and sadder. Wow. <laughs> it starts driving you slightly mad. You lose one mind. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna go to the arena, because I'm, of course, and comp of course, compete in fights. You spend the week fighting brutes in the arena. You gain two physique and one finesse. One day, while wandering the halls, one of the arena's fighters approaches you. Excuse me, sir. I need a sparring partner, he says. Are you down for a fight or two? Accept his challenge. You down, dude? Let's do this! He screams, oh, no. takes a swing at your head. You get punched square <laughs> in the face. And the next thing you know, you're in the arena's infirmary. It appears the punch gave you headache neverendous. Symptoms include having a mild headache forever. Oh, you no. lose one mind. Wow, I'm the only one who came out of this positively. <laughs> well, you technically well, I, came out of it positively. I came out net. Net plus, but and we net still lost some too, a little bit. Some no, right. you lost like some lost mind. something. Flat okay, out. Well, anyway, <laughs> they like he the... gained two at the beginning and then had one taken away, so he gained one in the end. Yeah. But I bought two, got two. They say whatever. The last. Oh, let me do it. Fuck <laughs> you. The last time it came, the Yog devoured houses whole, stole lives, tore families and family members apart. But that was so very long ago. What is this game? Don't worry about it. You two have played this before. Where I haven't. Where do you want to go? You know, I'm feeling, uh... I'm feeling, uh... I'm feeling, I'm feeling the tavern. No, actually, I'm feeling the palace. Let's you go to the, the palace. palace? palace? Yeah. Oh. Uh, attend ball. You spend the week attending fancy gatherings. 
You gain two charm in one finish. Ah, you're charming as fuck now. Oh, yes I am. One day the king approaches you. Excuse me, but you look like someone who I can confide in. I really want a prince to take over the throne, but the queen and I aren't exactly active in the bedroom. <laughs> he blushes a little. Do you have advice on how I could romance the queen, so to speak? You're charming as fuck! The your ways. Teach the king my ways! Yeah, I'm the pair with the king. Spent hours drawing a bunch of diagrams and going through scenarios with the king. At the end of it, he's just as charming as you are. He thinks he thanks you and hands you a large sack of coins as a reward. He gave you his big sack. You gain wow. three wealth. Wow! Later that night, you get the sinking feeling that you might have actually made things worse. <laughs> But I didn't lose anything. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. I'm gonna go. Let's go. Let's go to the. Uh, well, I'm gonna go to the alchemy tower this time. You guys know exactly I'll where. I'm going a potion. Okay. You spend the week experimenting with different potion brews. You gain two magic and one mind. One day, while in the tower, one of the alchemists asks you to watch his potion while he's out. Soon after he leaves, the potion begins bubbling out of control. Uh oh. If you don't do something soon, it'll explode! I'm gonna drink it! Fucking drink it, yeah, I'm drinking that shit. You quickly drink the potion. <laughs> your stomach can't seem to handle the potion. Fire erupts up your esophagus, and for a solid minute, you're shooting a jet of fire from between your lips. <laughs> that burns! You lose two physique. You have three physique, dude. What, what a learning experience! <laughs> You gain one mind. Uh, you really do have mind, though. I'm going to be a again. Mind. Compete in some more fights. I have half the mind to tell you, you have a mind. You yeah, spend you the week half fighting the brutes in the arena. <laughs> you gain two physique and one finesse. While wandering around the halls, between matches, you spot your former lover, Kelly. An awkward exchange happens, in which you want to know how they're doing without seeming to care too much? After a few minutes, Jean, one of the most popular fighters in the arena, butts into the conversation. Hey Kelly, sorry to interrupt, but we got to leave right away if we want to make it to your mother's on time. You say an awkward goodbye as they walk off holding hands. How do you feel? You know what? Good, good for Kelly. Good wow, for Kelly. What a selfless person. You feel it's good on both of you that you have moved on. This encounter, despite its awkwardness, was refreshing. You gain one charm. Get that charm, boys. It was on us in a heartbeat, or so the stories go. The earth shook, the air went still. Where do you want to go, Jonathan? This is... I'm so confused, but this is a beautiful game. It's was, so cool, it's, right? I it's actually am really impressed. I enjoy it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go to, um... A hearty fuck it, the slums. Pickpocket or fight crime? Fight crime. He's a crime fighter. Spend the week outsmarting and beating up criminals. You gain one mind, one physique, and one finesse. One night, you hear cheering coming from an alleyway. Peering in, you see a crowd of men cheering on dogs, violently ripping each other apart. That's depressing. One of... Ziggy coming back. Oh, <laughs> no! <laughs> one of the men spots Wait, you Wait, can I ask... do the accent? Okay, one, Just... one of the men spots you and asks... Oi! Would you like to participate in a little betting game? Hmm. Ooh. The moral dilemma, eh? Hey? What are you gonna do, mister? Try to stop the dog fights. Boys. Try to convince the gamblers that the dog fighting is wrong. Words fall on deaf ears. Very quickly, they get angry at you, quite angry at you. One of them walks up to you and pulls out a knife. You don't feel you have the strength or speed to match the guy. Run away, hoping he won't follow. Ooh. Positive gains, though. That's good. Yeah, well, that's I have game. yet to get any negative gains. Gains? Where are you going, Mr. Boys. Greg? I'm going to the forest. Negative losses, excuse me. Uh, oh, hunt. Well, I was gonna shit. hunt, but never mind. Yeah, fuck you. Uh, you spend the week hunting defenseless critters. Oh, good. Gain two finesse and sell the pelts for one wealth. One day you hear a howl nearby, followed by the rest oh, of the Oh, fuck. Uh, stand and fight. I'm gonna dude. fight this dude. You raise your weapon, ready to fight whatever it is out there. A blur leaps up from the bushes and knocks your weapon from your hands. The beast slashes open your chest. Jeez. You black out. When you come to, your whole body feels warm and the gash in your chest has disappeared. 
You lose three magic. You gain three physique. What? You have more physique than him? No. No, he doesn't. No. no. Uh, I have nine, he has six. Because uh, remember, he lost two physique from the fire potion. Right, 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 right. Look, right, at, the, right, look right. at how much mind I have. I I'm have eight mind. I'm gonna keep fighting, dude. I'm so good at fighting them. Spend a... You spend the week fighting brutes in the arena. You gain two physique and one finesse. During a match, another warrior's weapon is knocked from their grasp. You barely manage to avoid it. With a sickening crunch, it destroys the knee of a nearby bystander. He accuses you of wanting to, causing harm to him by not stopping the flying weapon. He takes you to court. I mean, I don't have any money. <laughs> offer a settlement, Mark? I mean, I can't really defend myself. I, I have no money, defend but yourself. I'll tell you what, I will give you a shoe. Hire me to defend you. Greg, come defend Why me. Why you? I've got the charm. Should I just I offer to settle? Money. I'm going to defend myself. You object, but you can't seem <laughs> to convince the judge. He rules that the plaintiff's favor and you perform community service. You gain one physique and one finesse. Unfortunately, the boring task could take, take the toll on you mentally. You lose one Ooh, mind. You are really dumb. I am pretty dumb now. Pretty dumb. I'm just going crazy. And then the world was a howling fury. Chaos. Screaming. The sound of all we knew being pulled in half. I'm not even kidding. This I, I'm so into this game. It's, it's so cool, right? It's really good. Oh my god, it's, a good it's game. wonderful. Alright, where are you it's going, wonderful. mister? Uh, Monsieur? Oof. Oof, how are we on time, by the way? We're do Don't worry about yeah, it. We're just gonna make this a one-off. Oh, fine. okay. Sure, sure, sure. Uh... I'm about, to, I'm about to go to the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the hospital. You gonna go to the hospital? Yeah. yeah. Hospital okay. boy. Tend to patients. I cleaned up enough today. Spend the week diagnosing and tending to the sick. Gain two mind and earn one wealth. One day a patient comes into the hospital with sores that nobody's ever seen before. While walking by his bedside, he looks at you and rudely asks for a glass of water. Get him water. You bring him a small glass to quench his thirst. Takes a large swig, uh, sip, swigs it out, uh, swigs it around, and then proceeds to spit at you. Don't spit at the me. The water hits you right in the face. After cleaning up, uh, you scold the obviously insane man for spitting at you. That night when you get home, you feel dizzy and you start having vivid hallucinations about ancient wizards. You gain three magic. You lose three mind. Oh. What, well, how much mind do I have left? Oops. Uh, you have... Oh, five, that's five. Five, but you have nine magic. You're I'm pretty okay. magical now. It's so magical. Yeah. Um, I'm right. actually pretty balanced. I'm okay with this. I'm gonna go to... I'm going back to the alchemy tower. Go back to the alchemy tower. Potions, man. Okay. Keep brewing potions. You spend the week experimenting with different potion brews. You gain two magic in one mind. Over the course of the week, you notice that you've been slowly growing hair all over your body. Much like every other human. You've also noticed yourself getting significantly stronger. You gain three physique. Your ability to control the supernatural is fading, however. You lose three magic. One day you feel searing pain course through your body as, you, as your body contorts against your will. Fur erupts from everywhere and your teeth turn jagged and sharp. You can hear the screaming of those around you, but all you can think about is how hungry you are. The next few hours are a blur. You wake up the next day in your bed, naked and coated in blood. Take a look in the mirror to notice you're completely back to normal now. You feel like whatever all of that was, well, it's all out of your system now. Oh, so I think the alchemy tower is destroyed yes, now. It's gone. Uh, I'm gonna go to the slums and fight crime now that I'm a superhero. <laughs> you really are, though. He's got 12 physique. You spend the week outsmarting and beating up criminals. You gain one mind, one physique, and one finesse. One night, you hear a woman whisper at you from nearby. Hey you, she calls out, looking to make a bit of coin. She... I mean, I kind of need money, but I feel like I should say no. Should I say... You know what? Is this your character, Mark? No. Despite your intention to say no, you find yourself giving... Oh. Giving yourself into her will completely. She signals for you to go into the alleyway with her. I'm closer, she says. Nobody else can hear what I'm about to tell you. You lean in close, eager to hear how you'll be earning this coin. She presses herself right up against you, moving her lips slowly towards your ear. Suddenly, she bites you her neck viciously. Blood pours from the wound as she clings to you, tightly lapping it all up. You black out. When you come to, she's standing over you. Thanks, she says, tossing you a couple coins. Thanks. And she melts into the shadows. 
You feel your neck, your wound has healed completely. Your body feels ice cold. You gain three charm, you lose three physique. When it arrives this time, how will we fare? Will we once more rebuild, move on, be strong? Or have we forgotten? You're a vampire now. Yeah, I know. He's a vampire. Um, John, <laughs> Greg was a werewolf, <laughs> so it's only fair. What the hell's it going on with me then? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the arena. Let's have some fun at the arena. Spend a week. You spend the week fighting brutes in the arena. In two physique and one finesse. Over the course of the week, you notice yourself growing more and more spiral-shaped sores over your body. Oh. One day, the sores begin to glow. Uh, begin glowing a vibrant blue. Feel your magical power grow even stronger while your mind slips further. You gain three magic. Oh, and lose three mind. In no time, the sores are glowing so bright that they hurt to look at. Someone rushes up to you and asking if you're alright. With only a glance, you set him aflame. Then you let out a scream that shakes the earth and shatters the skulls of all nearby. <laughs> a mind of the, uh, the a river of blood coats. And, uh, a blood coats the ground as you walk about, reveling in your destruction. You black out. When you come to your home and in bed. Your sores have faded and you feel like the disease's fin symptoms have passed. Yay! You're super fucking magic <laughs> now, though. So magic. And the arena's down. God, God damn it, guys. Stop oh, blowing gardens. shit up. Uh, let's meditate. You spend the week in deep meditation. You gain one magic and two mind. One day you come across an elderly man snoozing off in the grass. You there, young per- You there, young person! He waves you over. I'm having an awful time trying to nap in this bright sun. Do you mind giving me some shade? I'll block the sun for the old man. Ages seem to pass as you stand in the hot sun, the wizened old man sleeping peacefully in your shadow. The sun is sweltering, and after some hours, you begin to feel faint. Gradually, everything grows dark. When you awaken, it is evening in the garden. An ancient gnarled tree stands where the old man is sleeping. For witnessing the miraculous event, you gain one magic. Hey. You didn't lose any physique or anything. Go you. I didn't lose anything. I feel like maybe that, I should just beat up some games, more. boy. I'm gonna go to the forest. Hunt. You spend the week hunting defenseless critters. You gain two finesse and sell the pelts for one wealth. Over the course of the week, you notice your skin become paler, your teeth sharper. You notice whenever you talk, everyone nearby hangs on your every word. You gain three charm. God, you're so charming. I'm really fucking charming. You also seem more frail and gaunt than you used to. You lose three physique. One day, you spot a hunting party out in the wilderness. One of the hunters drops his hat. As he bends down to pick it up, his neck fully exposed. You can even see a vein or two. Oh no. Hot. Delicious. Before you know it, you're coated in blood with a mangled form in front of you. There are several people around, and they're all filled with delicious nectar. The next few hours are a blur. Wake up the next day in your sheet, bed sheets soaked with blood that's not your own. You look in the mirror and notice your skin has re regained its color and that your teeth have dulled. The next day, you find the exit to the town is closed. Something about a horrific accident in the forest. Fuck. You do not inquire further! <laughs> the Yog. It's almost here. Almost. Almost. Ooh, look at those clouds rolling. This is... lovely. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and go to Gardens of Meditation. Go to the Gardens of Meditation? Yeah. Gardens. You spend the week in meditation. You're really far away from the mic, by the way. You gain one magic and two mind. Walking past the pond one day, you see a fat little frog sitting on a lily pad. Please, miss, the frog bin. I am not a frog at all, but an enchanted prince. If you could see your way to kissing me, it would break the curse and return me to normal. Hey, catch it. Catch it. What are you going to do? Catch, kiss it. Yeah. 
I know, but... Boil them and stick them in the stew? Okay, so I'm gonna assume that if I kiss it, it's gonna be a physique problem. So I'm okay with that. Go ahead and kiss the frog. Bend down and kiss the frog. Suddenly the frog is enveloped in a cloud of shimmering fog. Fog frog. When the fog clears, the, fog, the frog is gone and the tall regal man is standing in the pond instead. He thanks you for helping him and gives you a handsome reward. You gain two wealth. As the word spreads of your deed, your reputation improves. Gain one charm. Well then, that was so, a incredibly productive time. I'm gonna help people at the hospital. All right. You spend the week diagnosing and tending to the sick. Gain two mind and earn one wealth. One day, the bloodletting leeches somehow escape from their containers. Leeches start flooding into the hallway. There are people screaming everywhere as leeches slither towards them. Somebody do something, yells one of the doctors. That I was about to say the two options are um, do something, don't do something. It's my magic five. Oh, I, yeah, I'll zap the leeches. Okay. Zap them. You wave your hand, unleashing a wave of magic to disintegrate the leeches. Your magical ability isn't what you thought it was. Your spell fizzles out before it even reaches the leeches. Just the leeches. Regardless, the leeches make their way out of the hospital and end up infesting all the nearby waterbeds. <laughs> Goody. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna go to the palace and some balls, dude. You spend the week attending fancy you gatherings. Were a robot for a second. <laughs> you gain two it charm is. and one finesse. One day, a grand carriage arrives from the palace with a tall regal man emerges from the carriage. That's from Jonathan's thing. He says that he is a true king recently freed from a curse placed on him by his wicked half-brother. Man challenges the king to a duel for the throne! Ooh. I actually have no idea. Holy shit, this is a new one. We, wow. I thought we've seen everything in this game, too. I haven't seen it all yet. Interesting. Ooh, who do I support? Who would your character support? I want to support the stranger a little bit. But does he even know that he's a real king? No. You're right, he doesn't know. Poor King. He has intimacy problems and now some guy's trying to usurp his throne. You know what, let's go, go full Game of Thrones here. I'm gonna support the stranger. You decide to act as the stranger's second. You carefully inspect the fighters before the duel begins, but everything appears to be proper. Unfortunately, the stranger is easily defeated by the King and you're branded as a renegade and you lose two charm. Oh. The storm arrives in the night. By the morning, it still rages. For three full days, the Tempest puts us through a grinder, drowns us, crushes us, ruins us. But then it ends. We see the graveyard our home has become. Our home. Does anything yet live? Is it? Are we? Past saving? So Jonathan, <laughs> I, who do you want to be? So your stats determine what you should be. <laughs> uh, Smelter is the, uh, which one is the, the, the for the alchemy? Uh, the Conjurer? There you go. Okay. Take it upon yourself. Help conjure up supplies for the town. Your magic, you summon supplies of the highest caliber. With little effort, you're summoning high quality lumber and food from out of nowhere. This helps the rebuilding effort significantly. I'm being a doctor. Probably smart. Take it upon yourself to help the sick and injured from the AUG. You're able to fix up most of your patients in no time at all. This means there are more people to help with rebuilding the town. This helps the survival up effort considerably. I got charm and finesse. Yes. Leader? For charm? Get the town drunk. <laughs> <laughs> you take it upon yourself to be the leader of the survivors. You're so incredibly charming, everyone readily lets you guide them. You're not the brightest, however, and aren't terribly efficient with organizing everyone. Still, having charismatic leader helps the re re rebuilding effort a lot. And so, we set about our tasks, once more living our lives. This time, in a way we might never have expected, or even wanted. But in the end... We flourished. Towers, once wrecked and ravaged, rose towards the sky. Trees again took root and blossomed. 
we all blossomed. And though it took a long while, and though it took a lot from us, our future is bright. Should the Yogg ever return, we will be ready. Yay! That's your thing at the end, right? Yeah, it Let's tells us what happens to each of us. Huh. This is, this is a, a lot more of a beautiful game than I thought it would be going to be. Exactly. So I'm going to guess this is, you? Me. this is yeah. yours. After the town is rebuilt, you start up a magical waste cleanup initiative. When boats accidentally leak toxic po uh, potions into the water, your crew arrives to clean off uh, <laughs> clean off birds, fish, and other animals. Your name, your name, Thyme Magazine's Person of the Year for six years in a row, <laughs> which feels pretty good. Also, all this exposure to magical waste gives you superpowers. Oh my God! <laughs> well then, I don't remember that one. The Og changed you, probably for the better. With the town rebuilt, you decide to take your, to retake your role as doctor. There, you make friends with another doctor. Two of you do everything together, inseparable. Eventually, you even decide to get an apartment and you live with each other. Then, your friend gets married and everything changes. Your spouse has to move away to a new town, and your friend follows. You try to keep in touch by mail, but the letters start to come less and less frequently. You try to fraternize this with is other so doctors. Sad. Well, they're all nice people. Nothing can compare. Wow. With the town rebuilt, you decide to become a full-time arena warrior. You slowly rise in rank, knocking out scores of fighters, even ones as great as Jean the Beautiful. Before long, you become the arena champion. You travel across the world fighting very the best. Fuck. <laughs> you travel across the world fighting the very best of the best. Tales are sung far and wide of your mighty feats of speed. Wow, I liked mine a lot. <laughs> Great, you're so sad. sad. Yeah, right? like, you hey. just gained fucking superpowers at the end. I know. You just like I just joined the arena. You sit there and you're just like I'm gonna fight. Explode <laughs> <laughs> you up. This is a beautiful game. Yeah, it's I really have to good. Admit, I'm okay with you're this. Seeing maybe ten percent of it too. I, I mean, I can imagine with the combinations of stuff. Yeah, those Whoa. leeches, one of our planters <laughs> fucked us over. <laughs> Every time we did anything, it would be like, and then the leeches appeared, you're like, what yeah. the fuck? <laughs> anyway, of course. Yeah. This was the Yogg, I hope you guys enjoyed it. But it was a very Mark not John. funny episode, but it was It's okay, awesome. it doesn't need to be, it's I beautiful. It. But it's uh, really Mark funny. John. Yogg! Yeah. Uh, Mark John. Mark John. And Zhezh. 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 Zhezh.